Live with Kelly and Mark. Today from the new film, I'll Be Right Here, Edie Falco was exclusively for our amazing viewers, Handy Fall Bargain. Also, Kelly and Mark take a look back at some of their favorite first-year highlights together as co-hosts. September 6, 2024. Thank God it's Friday. You know what today is? It's Friday. It's Elephant in the Meatpacking District Day. Oh, yes. yeah. The 100 life-size elephant statues are moving into the Meatpacking District today. If you've ever wanted to see what 100 life-size elephants look like, in a space such as the Meatpacking District. Get yourself there today <laughs> because they're starting their uh, national tour. Yeah. Which, like, I like to watch the movie Fatal Attraction <laughs> for so many reasons, but I like to see New York City during that time mm. because it is reminiscent of New York City when I moved to New York yeah. City when the Meatpacking District was like basically just that. Yeah. And that's where Glenn Close's character lived. And I remember thinking, no what? Wonder. She lives in the meatpacking district in this, like, in this very, like, strange industrial building with that weird elevator where they did it in, yes. you know. Um, and that whole thing. But now it's all fancy restaurants and fancy boutiques and fancy hair salons. So it's not reminiscent of any meatpacking district. I remember um, falling in love uh, with New York City by watching the movie Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Kramer yeah. versus Kramer. I must have been eight years old. What year? If everybody could do a... 77. 77. So I, uh, maybe 78 or 79, right? 79. 79. So I was eight years old. My dad took me to that movie. Really? Yeah. That's so That's interesting. That's so weird. Yes. Well, Dad, what were you trying to tell me? That's interesting. Um, yeah. And I remember sitting there as a little kid, eight years old. Uh, it was a heavy movie, yeah. but um, I fell in love with that little kid and Dustin Hoffman and just seeing New York, the chaos of New York. Yeah. I believed if I went to a jungle gym and played in New York City, I'd fall and break and get, you know, get cut and get stitches. I'm like, oh, it's dangerous there. Yeah. Because the little kid got stitches, he fell on his plane. Right. Remember that? Yeah, But I course. remember just the yellow cabs, the real yellow, it, the yeah. old, you know, the big long cars. I think my parents were like, that's where they shoot Sesame Street. Like literally, <laughs> that was my concept of everything yeah. was where is Sesame Street? It's in New York City. And I was like, I gotta get there. I gotta figure out how to get to Sesame Street. There is one last place, one last meatpacker. Yeah, what's it called? JT Jabaggy. Jabaggy. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, football season kicked off last night and tonight. Tonight. The Eagles are playing the Packers in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay, that's, yeah, that's I cool, mean, right? That's a real But that here's is the rub. Quite here's a, the rub. Quite a commute for the fans. The stadium that they're playing in is obviously a soccer football stadium, right? Mm -hmm. Um it's the Corinthians Arena. They wear black. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're fierce rivals wear green. Mm -hmm. So as the Eagles are officially the home team, they've chosen to wear what were they gonna wear? Black and white. Black and white. The old the black and uh -huh. white as the home team. And you know what's happening Sunday, right? You're gonna tell me. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing against the Washington Commanders at Buccaneers Stadium. Okay. At Buccaneers Stadium. It's an afternoon, late afternoon game. Are you going to the game? Um, we're just going to let Baker bake. 
<laughs> Ask me what that means. What does that mean? Baker Mayfield's our quarterback. Yes, I know. So when we let him do his work, we're just going to let Baker bake. Ah. Oh. Okay. And we're going to see, we're going to talk about it on Monday when it, we come home with the big win. I can't believe it's been a year ago since you... <laughs> <laughs> You're back. You've been here since all me. I had to hear about was Baker Mayfield every Sunday. Now that we, now that, now that we don't have that's a sign. Yeah, that's a sign. Uh, now that we don't have kids running around the house and stuff, we have dogs. I still, you know, I do take the dogs out on the weekend. Do you mind? Because I've got Italian soccer to watch in the morning, and then I've got <laughs> American football to walk, watch in the afternoon, and sometimes a Formula One race in between. Mm. Do you mind when I'm like up there in my room, in my guy room, watching that stuff? Do you like miss me, or do you what care? What would happen if I said yes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to throw a curveball at him and say, yes, I do, I mind. Yeah, no, I would, I would say, really? I would say I would, I would know that you were just joking, but you don't mind at all, right? <laughs> you appreciate your you, you appreciate your alone time. I get a lot done. Yeah. Yes, I get a I get a and lot. And that's done. why I while do that. you are that's ostensibly do. doing nothing, I get yeah. so much oh, done. Oh, I'm doing stuff. I'm doing right. stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm locking in. I can't locking tell in. you how many times I go up there to check on him after I've sent one, two, three, four text messages and I haven't gotten a response, and I go up there. And this is what I see. A man slumped back in a chair, sound asleep with a, cig with a cigar in one hand and a remote control in the other. <laughs> That's what I see. Just thinking about stuff. Just, just thinking about <laughs> Just thinking about life. stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I, I'm glad I, I can do that for you on Sunday. <laughs> And let you do your stuff. And I think men, men out there all over the United States are doing the same thing for their wives on Sunday. That is very Thank you. Thank you, men. You're welcome. We appreciate it. So I don't know if you know this, but there was this really interesting article in the newspaper, you know, that Michael Keaton, the actor, the yes. actor. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, amongst. Uh, my personal favorite is Mr. Mom. Oh, yeah. It's Love great. that movie so yeah. much. Um, he wants to change his name back to his birth name, but he can't do it because, um, you know, for, for the Screen Actors Guild has certain rules about two actors having the same name. But his birth name is Michael Douglas. Oh! Isn't that wild? <laughs> so, obviously, that was taken by wow. Michael Douglas. Yeah. So now he wants to change his name to Michael Keaton Douglas. Okay. Michael K. Douglas. No, oh. Michael Keaton Douglas. Okay. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of actors that have changed their names because they their names were already taken. Okay. Um, Emma Stone was born Emily Jean Stone, but there was already an actress named Emily Stone in SAG. Katy Perry was born Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, so she ah. changed her name to avoid confusion Kate with Hudson. Kate Hudson. Julianne Moore was born Julianne Smith and changed it because there was already a Julie Smith. Well, I'm sure so there was. it's really... Yeah, um, that's wild. Yeah. Can you just add an initial in between and just that, that makes the difference? I don't know. The answer is this article doesn't Thank cover you, that. <laughs> I, think you, I think people have yeah. used the initial. Yeah. yeah. Then... I don't know if yeah, it's uh, probably that's like confusing for some. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when people do you have think that's why um, Sarah Michelle Geller is Sarah Michelle Geller instead of Sarah Geller and Sarah Jessica Parker is instead of Sarah Parker? Oh. Let's call Let's them call and them. find out. <laughs> Let's call them. It's funny, whenever there's a Sarah and a name, it's they tend to be a three-named person. Right, like Anthony Michael Hall oh. instead yeah. of Anthony Hall. When I moved from Europe, Italy to the Midwest, Consuelos was not very easy for people, a uh, name for them to say. It still isn't, and I'll tell you why. When I used to take the kids to the doctor's appointments, this is how it would go. Mrs. Con Mrs. Con Mrs. Gonzalez? And I was like, here. I just get, I, like, at a certain you point, up. you just give up correcting. And and I you're think just I like, remember my dad when he would introduce himself when we lived in the Midwest. Consuelos. 
or Consuelos or Your some, dad gave yeah, it a different He kind of like made it made it cons you know he he had like a little twing a little something different for making people understand how how they could say it i remember when i i was young and i was super shy and they they couldn't pronounce my name and they were actually they asked me how do you pronounce your last name and i just went i don't know <laughs> i don't know they're like you don't know how to pronounce your last name i said i do not know how to do that please stop talking to me <laughs> I wish I had known shy you. <laughs> You'd have beat me up. Oh, definitely. I would have definitely You'd beaten you beat up. You'd me up. Oh, my gosh, 100%. Because <laughs> I would have thought you were cute, so I would have definitely kicked you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when kids are little, they just don't know how to process things. Right. And I would have thought All you were... All those feelings. I would have thought you were All adorable, those feelings. so I would have had to, like, wrestle you down and give you a noogie. Yeah. Punch you in the arm. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And then what? Uh, I don't know, nothing. That's it. That's how it would have ended. <laughs> hey, we got a big show today. Edie Falco is here. Yes. And we're going to share some bargains that will make your fall easier. They're all 50% off. Okay. Yes. And we continue our uh, week of live memories with a look mm. at our favorite moments. Yeah, so we're going to see what our favorite yeah, moments yeah, yeah, are. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. I and look forward to seeing And we're going to announce the travel, the travel Trivia Grand Prize winner of the $14,000 Caribbean Vacation. Is this what we've been, you know, this is like the Oh, uh, when they lose? Yeah. So when they lose the, the trivia game, they get thrown into this thing. We thought you were Wait, lying so that to them. is real? That's real. They we really thought you were lying to them. I just thought that was something to p pick up their spirits and give them hope. So there actually, really wait, is a trivia prize. Oh, wait, that's exciting. We're doing that today? Yeah. When? Later in the show. Later in the show. All right, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> you just announced it. See you soon. Okay. Before we go any further uh -oh. into our game, uh, it's a new month. And that can only mean one thing. It's time to report on Mark's mug averages. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is August. This is August. Your August average was. Ooh, it was rough. I remember it being rough. 0.476. Ooh. <laughs> My that's lowest the same one yet. Music you play when his average is good. <laughs> no, that's pretty average. low. Your July average was 0. 0.565. Okay, all right. Usually, you know, summer, you have your work cut out slump. for you. It was a slump in the new yeah, season. It was a slump. Slump. Focus. But summer September's slump. going well. Yeah. yeah. Your career well. average as of the end of last season uh -huh. was 0. 0.5. If I was a baseball player, I would have statues erected of me everywhere yes. I played if I batted 5-5-9. Five, five, Is that true? That's yeah. true. Because right now you're batting slightly above a t coin toss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but above is above. Above is above. That's above my goal. Above. I want to get yeah. in the sixes. Above is above. It's going to take, take some time. I want to get yeah. in the sixes. All I'm right, well, better. let's get to it, everybody. Okay. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. So from Pennsville, New Jersey, who watches the show on WPVI. She wants to stump me so she can walk around her town wearing that new T-shirt. Yes. All right. Hey, good morning, Mary. How are you? Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Kelly. Hey, Mary. Do you know where Pennsville is? Of course. Where is it? It's, I would say you're in South Jersey. Right, near the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Okay. Well, welcome to the show. All right, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One's true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is true. And if you stump me, you win this. Oh. <laughs> and that. Okay, here are Mary's statements. I taught second grade for 33 years. Mm -hmm. Or I've been a dog trainer for 33 years. Okay. Um, how old were you when you started when you started uh, teaching? 28. 
28. Okay. <laughs> and did you did you enjoy second grade? Was it just always second grade? No, I taught other classes. I taught other grades also. But I, I liked second grade because I was taller than these kids. <sighs> yes. Okay, give me the top three things you you teach when you're when you when you train dogs. Um, I teach them how to sit, stay, heal, and I here's the fourth one. I teach them not to go on a bed and lay on top of the remote control. Yes. Ah. They should very never important. go on the bed. They should never very, go on the very bed. Very important. What's your favorite kind of dog to train? Um, a Rottweiler. Really? Why? Yeah, they're because they're big, but they're very intelligent. Okay. I always think that Mark looks like a Rottweiler. Like if a Rottweiler turned into a human being, don't you think, Mayor? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know him right now that you see it, they're you can't strong. see it. Yes, they're right. strong. And they're yes. loyal. Right. And they're right. loyal. They and are loyal. That's right. And they're smart. Yep. And they like their bellies rough. <laughs> <laughs> and little ears. Yeah. Here's what I think, Mary. I think you and I have a connection. Oh boy. I think you and I are connected. Because you when you see me, you think I look like Randy the Rottweiler. <laughs> and I think you've been a dog trainer for 33 years. Oh my God, I'm sorry to bust your record this week, but you're wrong, Mark. You are wrong, Mark. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I just peed on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Congratulations, you want a mug and a t-shirt. Oh. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. <laughs> for a trip for two to the Los Establos Boutique Inn in Panama. Eight days, seven nights in a premium suite. It mm. includes three meals daily. Mm. All the meals. Mm -hmm. One excursion per day. That's all the excursions you can handle. <laughs> it's a prize value at $8,000. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck, Mayor. Okay, Mayor, here we go. Earlier this week, we talked with Derek Huff. What bucket list place did Derek say he and his wife visited this summer? Okay. Oh. Derek Huff. Oh my gosh. Yep. He went to Panama. Um, oh my gosh. I have it written. I'm sorry, it was Iceland. The answer was Iceland. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this game is harder than it looks. Yeah. It's like your mind oh. goes blank. But listen, there's still exciting news because you'll now be entered into our brand new grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica from Aurora Expeditions. This is a prize valued at over $42,000. Oh, my God. You and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a Roomba vacuum cleaner from iRobot. So please pick a number between 1 and 159. Uh, 75. 75. Thanks for playing with us.
Rosemary. When we return, Edie Falco's here, so stick around. Still ahead on Live, we'll take a look back at some of your favorite moments of the past year. Monica Megan is here with some amazing handy fall bargains that will get you ready for fall, all for 50% off. We'll open up the inbox to hear your comments and questions. And coming up next, Edie Falco. Okay. She's known for her iconic roles in The Sopranos and Nurse Jackie, and now she's starring in the new film, I'll Be Right There. Please welcome <laughs> Emmy Award-winning actress, Edie Falco. <laughs> Um, so you were just uh, on stage this summer, is that I right? I was. I did a play called Pre-Existing Conditions, written oh. by Marin Ireland. Okay. I did it in the East Village in New York. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. I How loved long it. had it been since you've been on stage? I think just a couple of years. I okay. try to do it every once in a while. Is it like a, to keep that... I mean, as if, you know, as if I plan those things. I do it whenever right. something comes up. Right. Um, but I want to. I mean, I really, yeah. I need it. And I didn't realize how much until I was on stage again. Like, oh, Was it a tiny good. theater? 60-something seats. Oh, okay. amazing. So does that make you more nervous than when it's a Well, the Well, you know, the audience is, like, right there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's definitely about as intimate as it gets. But um, I just loved it. I loved it, loved it. What's the weirdest thing you saw when you were on stage in a tiny venue? Like, are, what <laughs> are you... Heard. I've seen uh, and heard way more weird things in a large oh, venue. Oh, really? I was doing a show at the Belasco Theater during a rainstorm, and the, the ceiling the roof uh, broke in or something in the middle of the um, set. No it start, we're saying some lines and it just starts raining on our... They don't stop the show. No, you gotta keep going. <laughs> no, we just made up some stuff about the crappy apartment we lived in. <laughs> I, don't know, I mean, yeah, all kinds of crazy stories. So you were also in New Zealand this year? I was. Reprising your role in Avatar 3. Indeed. Had you been, had you been to New Zealand? When we, when we were shooting the, the second, second one, one. Yeah. and uh, I took my kids there. We were there for five months. Oh, amazing. Last time. Okay. This time, my kids are too old, and they yeah. don't like me. But um, <laughs> New Zealand is uh, spectacular. Yeah. It's absolutely spectacular. That's what they say. We've never been, we've but never I, been I, I love it. Not just because it's beautiful, but the yeah. people there are just different. They were yeah. raised differently. Like, they take care of each other, and their kindness is just, it's not like put on, it's just kind of mm. who they are. Wow. I love 25 it. years since The Sopranos premiered, wow. ran six seasons. Crazy. We, we, we lived in New rush. Jersey. We, we lived in New Jersey home. at we the would, time. We would go to my parents' house yeah. for dinner on Sunday yeah. night, and they'd be like, where are you going? We and we're like, go we gotta get home. <laughs> Because there's this show that you should be watching called The Sopranos, and we don't want to miss it. Because back then, if you missed it, you missed it. That's, do you remember that? When like, yeah. the TV had a thing and yes. a time, you had to be there. And yeah. we lived in northern New Jersey. Oh, no. And so every neighborhood, especially when they pull up to your house, The Sopranos' house, yeah. like, we think we know where that is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We think so we, true. Yeah. yeah. And, can you believe it, 25 years? No, I can't believe it. Like, Have your kids discovered The no. Sopranos? Not yet. Not. I mean, they I will. think they know it exists. Uh, they don't have a great deal of interest. No, but our, our kids, kids just, just, just discovered right. it. Yeah. And oh, is that right? Really? Yes. And they're like, have you heard of this show called The Sopranos? <laughs> and I was like, before you were born, your <laughs> father and I used to watch that show. I hear when you heard the, uh, about the cast, they were casting for this, you thought it was for something else? No, I thought it was about singers. Like, all my <laughs> friends were going, and I was like, oh, I'm, you know, because we keep each other in touch, like, there's this thing that's casting or whatever. Sure. I heard this, I'm like, well, I'm not going to get called for that. Uh, and I was doing Oz at the time, so yeah. I was oh, like, yeah. well, I'm gainfully employed. I don't need an audition for another show. And then it just sort of happened. They called me in and it was not about singers, as it turns out. No. I can't imagine that role in anybody else's me hands. Oh, I cannot thank you. imagine. Thank you. I, mean, no. I think they were, they were pretty close to casting someone else. Uh, I think that she had already been pretty much ready to do it. I think she was really close to, to doing it and, and it didn't come to be. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but you know, this could be just one of those many stories yeah, that right. I've heard of over the years. Of course. All right, we need to take a break, but when we return, Edie tells us about her latest role that's close to her heart. Stick around. Still ahead, a lot. Oh. Why?
why, uh, why not as a date? Are you seeing someone? As it turns out, I am seeing two people, a man and a woman. As it turns out, this is my kind of show. <laughs> that, was a scene. Yes. <laughs> that was a scene from I'll Be Right There. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about the film a little bit? Yeah, she's a mom and a daughter and uh, has lots of responsibilities as both. That's sandwich generation, they mm -hmm. call them. Uh, so she takes care of her family and, uh, and she kind of loves it and she wonders if there's something more ambitious she should be doing and that's kind of what it's about. Mm. It's not a big plot-driven superhero. Did, did this uh, did this connect to you specifically? I mean, I know your kids are older now, mm -hmm. and they're in that age where yeah, you know, the teenage years. Yes, that's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> that yeah, it did. Also, because it's just about people. It's about people and relationships, and uh, just the stuff, the day to day stuff that we all sort of ignore and get out of the way till we can get to our real life. Mm -hmm. And I think she really likes that stuff, like the family yeah. stuff. Yeah, I will say the teenagers do come back a few. <laughs> They keep they promising. Do. No, 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 I swear. I promise you. I promise you. You've got like a few, you've got like a few, few rough years. You've got like two to eight years. <laughs> and then, <laughs> is it bad if I get like a studio somewhere during no, this? No, I, I encourage yeah, that. Yeah. You can move yeah. in with us. <laughs> you can totally I'll be nice move to you guys yes. at least. We'll call it. I'll be right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be right really? there in theaters today. Come up next, our amazing fall bargains. Stick around. Monday on Live, to Wheel of Fortune, right? All of our bargains are at at least 50% off, and you can simply point your smartphone camera at the QR code in the corner. It's that thing. Right there, right there. Of the screen. And so let's get shopping with Monica Mayo. <laughs> Partner with great brands as always. We're going to start with Cheeky. We're talking about oral Ooh. health here. So we have a sonic toothbrush. Okay. What I really like about that is it has the two minute timer built in and it has different settings. So it is really good for get, yeah, hold that in. It's really great for bad plaque stains, getting the hard to reach areas, but it also has a comfort setting too. Ooh. So if you just want like a light, easy oh. brush, so you oh can choose gosh. that. We also oh. love a water flosser. I love and a water what's flosser. special about this one is that you can control the intensity. So some water flossers are really intense. Yeah. This has a lot of different settings in there, and water flossers help with preventing gum disease, cavities, really good. We also have some teeth whitening kits and also teeth molds if you want to make a night guard to sleep in if you clench your jaw. So we have a whole assortment of Cheeky. From Cheeky. Cheeky. Okay. Yes. This I, why didn't I invent this? Okay, so this is I Heart Eyewear, and I do heart all of these products. So, first of all, we, those look so good on you. Those are readers, and they have long sides. You're never going to lose your readers again because they stay on your neck. So, it's designed with an extra long side. You know how a lot of times you put them on the top of your head, and then they go flying? This is, you're never going to lose them. Also, when they're on the top of your head, you never find them ever so again. You're searching for Even them. Even though they're on the top of yes. your head. And then we need to talk about this one. This all right, is do you what want I... To do you want to demo this? Yes. Why didn't I invent this? Okay. Because this is what I need in the morning when I'm doing my and eye makeup. Because I can't see <laughs> and I can't put my glasses on. But it this way I can uh, each one eye. eye. <laughs> Isn't that insane? And the other eye. Genius. Genius. This is it. This company was a. Why? can't I just have one lens in my glasses one lens. and then yeah. switch? And Love they're it. only twelve fifty, so you should get a bunch of the readers and the magnifiers. Okay. L. Erickson, this is gonna upgrade your ponytail holder, your hair ties. And what I really like about this is they're super durable and long lasting, but they don't put a dent in your hair or cause oh, breakage. I hate no that. Kidding. Hate the dent. Hey, your hair is grown right back, Thank by you. the way. It's a hair like, lush. He is like a chia pet. It's unbelievable. You can watch his hair grow By in the real next time. segment, you'll need these, okay? <laughs> so we have a whole assortment of different colors, and I should give you a little pro tip. It's not too soon to start shopping for stocking stuffers. I know. And 50% off, this Smart. is really great. Also have an assortment of claws. My daughters always use the claw in the shower and nodding their hair up. So many this is for patterns. potato chip bags, no? Yeah. Yeah. You could use it also, also multi-purpose. Multi if they go missing in your house, your you husband has chips. put this on the chips. <laughs> Check the chips. Mm -hmm. All right, we All love right. laundry. We Clean love laundry. People. All right, 
and what Clean People loves is making sustainable, clean choices very easy for people. All right, I'm going to show you this. Are these, these the shower sheets? No, even better. These are liquid, or not detergent. liquid, these are laundry Deter detergent, detergent sheets. Detergent so look at sheets. this. One of these is an entire load of laundry. No. And, yes, there's no plastic packaging. And also, they smell so good. It's, it's nice. going to save you a lot of money, too, because when people use liquid, they you often use too much right. and use a lot of that. These are also all clean ingredients. We also have, these are absolute best sellers, I love the these. dryer balls. Yeah. So instead of using dryer sheets, you put these in. They're going to reduce wrinkles. They're going to help your clothes dry quicker. Quicker. And they're going to soften your clothes. A hundred wash, a hundred dries, you can use them for. I need to them for. Yes. Also yes. have stuff yeah. for the dishwasher and cleaning tablets, a whole assortment. Love we it. love them. Okay, great. Uh -oh. Mark, you're going to love yep. this. Okay, this is Rapid, and these are straps to wrap stuff up. I'm and getting goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he actually goosebumps. is, guys. Okay, so these, I did a basement and a garage clean out this weekend. They came so in handy. <gasps> They're <laughs> and you got and you yes. got a little a little thing so you can oh, hang it. So you can hang, hang it. it. But this is good for like your irons, all of your hair tools, your straighteners, cords, even just blankets. Folding them up, it gets all like frumpy mm. in a closet. You can wrap it right up. Your hoses, your yoga mats. There's literally no end to how many ways you could use these. So and it's I, different sizes. I, women love them too, but there's not a man in your life that's not going to get really excited about these. So I mean, you you are, are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here. Okay, I'm pre-obsessed with this. Pre-obsessed. Okay, so this is kind of a solution for traveling when you need your suitcase size to change or to be modified. What Mark has there folds all the way down to this. So this is that. So I like to go on a trip and I always come back with more than I left with. Ah, so so you can expand, but you could also bring one of these. So this guy here fits under the seat of an airplane. Come on. And then it can open up to that. So I can do all my shopping and have an, uh, an additional piece of luggage. Amazing. Amazing. The one over there is a backpack. I love, like, especially or, you guys love hiking. Watch. You could put that in that, you and could. then you have two bags when you come home. Two bags. I love it. So, so <laughs> many solutions that can start Don't off. encourage him, please. It's hysterical. All right. These two big bars. Hello, let's watch him. Shun the drawing. Don't take it over when he like it. Quarter on like it. Shit up on the show. Share it. I'll show you the video. Put a good thing. Don't know about it. Show it.